and welcome back to more Pokemon Yellow. Last time we went through the Sofco and drove Team Rocket out of it, su successfully beating their, ne their leader Giovanni. In the process, we got the best Pokeball in the entire game, the Master Ball, which has a hundred percent catch rate no matter what Pokemon you throw it out against. In this episode, we're going to take on the gym or the fighting dojo. Yes, we're taking on the fighting dojo. So, here, we have a couple of options of what we can do. We can, we can fight all four of those trainers back to back to back to back to back. I'm taking the five trainers if you want to count the guy, the last guy. Or, we can fight the last guy and the second to the last guy. Dang, you have some range! Well, we're taking on the second to last guy first, apparently. <laughs> Did not mean for that to happen. So, the fighting dojo, as you might assume, everyone has a fighting type Pokemon. And I have two Pokemon that do especially well against fighting types. We have Squid, who is a flying type. And we have Excellent, who is a psychic type. As we all know, recycling types are the most broken thing ever in Generation 1. So, we're going to be using those two primarily, primarily in this gym. And I th I am contemplating how I want to do one thing. Uh, because if you notice, we're at level 37. We haven't, we, we've grown 5 levels, or 6 levels for 7.1. Since we fought Koga. And Koga's highest level Pokemon was level 50. So. I don't know about the levels of Pokemon in Generation in, in Pokemon Yellow. But I'm thinking and after doing the fighting dojo, maybe. I don't know. I think I'll give the Psychic Gym a try. But if I wind up dying, I may actually save that for a later video. I may actually grind off screen. And here I go again. Just talking about whatever. Because we're just finding some... Well, this is actually a very optional gym. You don't need to go through here. But you, get, you have a choice between one of two very good Pokemon. And that's kind of what I'm going through there. Just to show off both Pokemon. Um, anyways, so, the next gym coming up is the Psychic type gym, and as I've made it out, Psychic type Pokemon are very scary to go up against, because they're kind of very strong. So, I'm thinking I'll give it a shot. I'll probably go in there, fight some, actually, I'll probably fight her trainers, all of them. And then find Sabrina, just so I can get the level up, uh, not the level up, but the experience from the trainers, so that I'm not missing any trainers. Um, so I think I'll do that. And at any point I die, I'm going to level grind off screen. And seeing as we have no Pokemon who can level up, or who can evolve, I should say, it should be no problem, really. Um, and Squid is not level 38? Cool. So, th again, this, this is a very optional thing. You don't need to, you can skip through this gym and not lose any, well, you don't get two good Pokemon, but aside from that, you don't lose anything else. It's not required, you just get one of two very good Pokemon. And so I'm gonna switch over to Excellent right here, and I think that was a third. Nope, that was a second guy. Jeez. No, I don't want to give you stats. I want to switch you with Excellent. Uh, he breaks through borders. Training. That is impressive, my good sir. And you only have okay one Pokemon, a Primate. 
A level 36 primate. Yeah, you can see that we're kind of on par with the levels of Pokemon around us. Um, and Eggson is not level 38. Um, I kind of don't want two videos back to back where I just beat up and battle Pokemon. Actually, Gengar is the only one, only one who's not level 38. Uh, he is the Karate Master. He is the leader here. Yes, I wish to challenge you. And we're taking on the Karate Master. He has another black belt. He has two Pokemon. They are Hitmonlee. A fighting type Pokemon with very decent HP. And very decent attack, mind you. Rolling Kick's not going to do very much because it's fighting type move against a psychic type. And that's one reason why I wanted to get an Executor on my team. Because it's, it's a psychic type with decent HP. It's very bulky. And here we have Hitmon Chan, who is more of a glass cannon, honestly. Um, and but it goes down to psychic because psychic type moves are so broken. Well, psychic type moves on psychic type Pokemon are so broken. So now that we've beaten the Karate Master, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take your emblems. A prized fighting Pokemon. So here we have a choice of the two Pokemon that the Karate Master used. We have I, I'm gonna do a battle right here. I'm gonna save. So I'm not sure if by choosing if by looking at the Pokemon you pick it up. Okay, no, I chose the Pokemon first. So here we have Hitmonchan, the piston punching Hitmonchan. No, I do not wish to have it. And here we have Hitmonlee, the kicking Pokemon. The hard kicking Hitmonlee. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Hitmonlee. Because why not? Oh, oh, um, I have a nickname for it. It's coming. It's, it, it, it's, it's, um, ah, I don't know. This is gonna be really bad. I'm gonna re nickname this later. It's, Hardly anything to sneeze at. I know. But yeah, we have hit money. Anyways, um. So yeah. That was the fighting dojo. That was fun. Sorry for that cut there. Uh, my older brother was hitting off and I was gonna see him off. Um. I honestly don't know what I wanna do here. Because I do. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up pretty quick. I'm gonna attempt to go through the Saffron City Gym. Because if I recall correctly, I think the gym leader, Sabrina, has a very powerful Pokemon. In fact, I know for a fact she has a very powerful Pokemon. I just don't know what level it is. So... I think I will go with the idea I had. Where if I... White out or black out, whichever it is. At any point during the gym. I am going to level grind. Okay, one thing I want to just out really quick is if I remember how to get to Sabrina. Oh, <laughs> ha! I do. Okay, so here I am at the gym leader already. Yeah, that was quick. Not even a minute into the gym, I'm already at the gym leader. I am that good. <laughs> I'm back out. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That is so okay. Enough floating around. Let's fight some Pokemon.
Because, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but any time, like in every gym, all the trainers you find in there, you can no longer fight once you've beaten the gym leader. Also, this is a really good lead right here. So, yeah, I am a tad bit concerned. Uh, oh, hey, cool, Danger's level 38. Awesome. Uh, another strip book. I'm gonna keep danger out and use another thunderbolt That uh, gets obviously knocks it out on one hit so why not? Uh, slow bro uh, Slow bro Thunderbolts may not knock it out honestly Yeah, didn't cool uh, Disable failed. I would use quick attack normally right here. But Slowbro is kind of physically defensive. So quick attack is not a good idea right there. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to intentionally not go into the right... Actually, I have no clue which one would be the right one right anymore. So here... Yeah, all, all the trainers in this gym are psychics. Mr. Mime! You are very tanky, my good sir. Already is a wall. Especially with your screens. Yeah, there we go. Boosting your defense. It gets light screen, reflect, and barrier. For some reason, I felt like using light screen again for whatever reason. Okay. Light screen boost uh, makes the series special moves used against you do about half as much damage. Yeah, it, it reflects the same thing as light screen, but for physical moves instead. Um. So they're kind of not really nice to go up against. Alright, I'm going to switch into squid. So I think I'm going to fight as many trainers as I see fit until I accidentally get to Sabrina. Uh, so yeah. Here we have another Kadabra. I'm going to use a fly against you. Oh man, I'm getting a headache. Ugh. Headaches are not fun to get in the middle of recording. Slowpoke, I'm gonna some danger out against it. I think anytime I see a slowpoke, I'll use danger. I guess if I see an executor or an executor, I'm gonna use squid. For Gabras, I think I'm gonna use pillow. Same for Mr. Mimes, because apparently Pillow did really well against that, against that first Mr. Mime. Uh, but sadly, uh, Nido King is not going to get a lot of time to shine in this gym. Because being a poison type, he is especially weak to psychic type moves. Uh, so yeah, sadly, so if I had sent, sent Elvis against this Kadabra, Elvis probably would have gone down. I think Pedro actually has a very decent special stat, which is why these special moves aren't doing a lot of damage. Uh, okay. So let's just keep back there. So this one. Oh, hey, there's a Shadowder, actually. Huh. Okay. Bye. I'm still betting she's going to use psych Psychic type Pokemon. Actually, I'm doing pretty well against the gym. So, I may... Oh! Ghost type Pokemon! Interesting! Huh. Okay. Yeah, fun fact. There are only three ghost type Pokemon in the entire game. In red, blue, and yellow. Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. They're all weak against psychic types. Not because they're ghost, but because they're poison. Yeah. 
the few types that you think would be super effective against go against psychic types are actually weak and do no damage. It's kind of a really stupid thing if you think about it, and that's just another reason why the psychic types are just so broken. And here I go again, repeating myself. So there we go, we've defeated the cha channeler. I cannot say that. And we're back at the beginning of the thing. Okay, here we have another channeler. I'm gonna keep squid out for now. I guess um, if there's if this second channeler is using more ghost types and or a ghost type, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna stick with squid for this one. Nightshade does does damage equal to the level of the user, so we've done 38 damage against squid. Uh, this is actually not good. This is not good at all. I need to actually hit. Not myself! Ugh, this is why Confused Race sucks. Yeah, I'm not confused! And there goes a Haunter! With a critical, with a pointless critical hit, mind you. And Squid is now level 39. Uh, I'm gonna keep Squid out in front just for a second, see what's coming up next. We already fought that dude. Don't think we fought that dude. So I'm gonna switch into Pillow right here, just because it's a safe switch. Yeah, we haven't fought that dude. And I think there's like maybe two trainers we missed here, but I'm not too torn up about mi about not battling them. Go oh, slow, bro. I could have sent out Pikachu and been fine. In fact, I'm going to switch into Pikachu. Because defensive. Even more so with withdrawal. So Thunderbolt will not one shot for sure. But it's going to for sure two shot. And you're using withdraw again to raise your defense. Why? Oh well. Uh, I'm not going to be upset about that. I am happy if you don't want to do any damage to me. Thank you very much. And I guess now that we we're at Sabrina, I'm going to keep Pillow out. I don't know. Yeah, Sabrina hates fighting, hates Pokemon battles, but she's a gym leader either way. Also, she has a whip. So she starts off with a level 50 Abra! I am going to take this time to spam the heck out of Amnesia. Oh, you better not get a flash off. You better not get a flash off. You got a flash off. I have an X accuracy. Do I still have the X accuracy on me? I don't have the an X accuracy. Okay. Well, I'm going to be doing this blindly. I'm sorry, that was bad. That was a really bad pun. Uh, Kadabra's next. Hopefully you're not level 50. Please don't be level 50. God freaking level 50! And another X defend. God dang! I'm refraining from cursing, so... Oh my gosh! That was a one-shot after an X defend. Okay, but this is where things get truly scary. Alakazam. Level 50. Dang. And it starts off using a psychic right away. But it barely does anything because I used three amnesias. That is six plus six to special. Oh, you spur. Ah, you cheap son of a bird. I don't know. 
Reflect. And another X defend! And my accuracy is. Ah, oh, find me in the Alps! <laughs> Help. Uh, her abra is obnoxious because it uses strength right off the bat. Not strength, flash. It uses, it uses flash right off the bat. Sorry if there's a random amount of damage, if I recall correctly. Or it has a random power, I should say. Uh, I'm gonna heal right here. Uh, yeah, I have some hyper potions. Ah, uh, and the obnoxious thing is in Generation 1, they have infinite, the, the AI has infinite PP for the, all their moves. So she can just, in theory, keep spamming recover. And so I run out of PP and strength. And body slam. And amnesia. And rest. And so I'm struggling. And they can still use recover to take no da to, and th to just take no damage. And it's really unfair and it's really broken. And you keep using- When is your reflect gonna go off, by the way? Don't use- Okay, no side wave. Just don't use her cover, please. Whatever you do, do, do not- Do not use her cover. God! Ah! Uh, this is really, really of not- I don't have any ethers or elixirs either. This is no bueno. And this is why I was afraid of her Atakazam. Not because, it wasn't because it was obnoxious, no, I thought it was gonna just absolutely wreck me. I'm gonna run out of hyper potions, aren't I? I'm gonna run out of hyper potions before I knock- And you're fully healed again! She doesn't need any potions, she has recover! Uh, if I run out of body slams, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna count that as the Pokemon being knocked out. Or uh, if I run out of strength, to ready. I cut some Pikachu out, use Thunder Wave, and then send something out. Send out probably Squid. Yeah, I think I've. There's a critical hit. Whoop! Danger! Let's hope you're faster. And then wave. No! Oh, oh, I used to be using the cover, which I'm, I'm happy about. Which means I get the pair. I get the paralysis off. Maybe I can be a cheap. I don't know, jerk? I'm gonna go with jerk. A cheap jerk and use double team. And just hope you don't hit danger. Yes, I am seriously doing this. I'm gonna be cheap. And you get through the three double teams! Don't knock it. Ha 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 ha! I did five damage. I level 50 Alakazam. Did five. Oh, don't you dare do more than five. Don't you knock me out. You barely did any damage. Cool. I can get behind this. Uh, how many double teams is that? I don't know. I think that's. I think that's six right there. Okay, I'm gonna use Thunderbolt and hope this is a decent chunk. I doubt it. Okay, nope, nope. Not a decent chunk. Well, this can be obnoxious. At least you're paralyzed, though. You do have a reflect up, but you're paralyzed. <laughs> My mashing gets more furious, the more furious I get. Yep, this is how this battle is gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna run out of Thunderbolts for this next one. So I need to get a critical hit on this last Thunderbolt. Please be a critical. Nope. I can never get the critical whenever I need it. So, we're moving on to quick attacks now. Can I, am I gonna knock out Alakazam with quick attack? 
Please tell me I'm gonna not... It's back to half health. Use anything but recover. Okay, reflect. Good. Can I get can I get a critical hit on any of these, please? Well, there's one. Okay. Can I get a critical hit on this last one too, please? That that would be perfect. Nope. But for paralysis, yes, I beat Atticism with a quick attack! With a level 38 Pikachu. <laughs> I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I managed to do that very well. And with that, we have gotten the Marsh Badge. A mixed Pokemon that have been treated to you, mind you, or a gift Pokemon. Up to level 70, obey you. And I now get Team 46. You would think, oh my gosh, I just beat the Psychic type Gym Leader. I'm gonna get the team for Psychic. Nope, it's Psy Wave. That's right. You get the TM for a move. It is a random amount of damage. That was the wrong one. Yep. We have the best team in the game, guys. This is the right one. So, with that, we now have the Marsh Badge in hand and TM46 Psywave. The best move in the game. Actually, I, I, I make fun of it, but it's not the worst move. There are far worse moves, such as Constrict, which I think... Oh, which Pokemon was it? There was a Pokemon we went up, we went up against that had Constrict, and I was like, really? Okay. Anyways, with that, we have the Marsh Badge, and we have beaten the 6th Gym Leader. 6th? Six? 6th. Six. Yes, we have beaten the 6th Gym Leader. We have two gym leaders left to go. Please tell me there was a sixth gym leader and not actually the seventh. Indeed, we have two gym leaders left. In the next episode, we're going to go off towards the, the second to last gym leader. See you guys then.